The Premier has rubbished an opposition claim that he's poised to announce a $100 million tram extension down Guja Street. The Liberal leader Isabel Redmond insists she's got a reliable government source and documents to back up her case. But the government says she's the recipient of a bogus leak. With the outgoing Premier settling his legacy, the opposition leader rolled out a bold prediction. We understand that the government is about to announce a $100 million extension of the tram line. Mike Rand is due to address a property council lunch tomorrow and Isabel Redmond says he'll serve up some major infrastructure, an extended tram line through the city's west and down one of Adelaide's premier eat streets. Mr Rand took to Twitter, dismissing the claim as a Liberal fantasy. If so, it's one he's sometimes indulged in, speaking of a Guja Street extension as a certainty. Very realistic. It's going to happen. Absolutely. But not overnight. The Transport Minister says the state can't afford it. Apparently the Premier put a jacket on, uh, hadn't worn for a while, found $100 million in the pocket and he's bought himself a tram extension and got the wife a new pair of shoes as well. Look, it's ridiculous. Isabel Redman insists her information came from a reliable government source. I guess tomorrow we'll show how good the source is, but uh, we are fairly reliably informed. I think they need to sack the mole on this one, that's all I can say. I think they need to get a new mole. The ABC has seen purportedly leaked images which show a proposed tram route and project schedule in which construction would be finished in 2013. It's a long way from having a project, so we do that sort of stuff all the time. The Liberals are seeking to make the most of some apparent Labor leaks of late, but so-called leaks can prove politically deadly. Just ask the former opposition leader, Martin Hamilton-Smith. Martin Hamilton-Smith was brought down by bogus documents and now you have the leader of the opposition with a completely bogus leak. Patrick Conlon says there's no current tramline proposal. Nick Harmson, ABC News, Adelaide.